This hour by Frederick Remington Fully Cooked Ready to Eat Bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. They make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom. Your kids don't go to college and they repossess your bench. Are you with me? Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovich, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovich. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday, November 18th. Uh, broadcasting live from uh, Las Vegas, uh, attending the uh, MJ BizCon uh, Cannabis uh, Marijuana Show, which is exciting. Big turnout, actually the biggest in the record of the uh, event. And uh, as you know, I do produce the uh, Cannabis Vice uh, newsletter, and we've been following a lot of these stocks. Uh, some have rallied nicely around the time of this uh, convention. Um, it's uh, show's just about over, so. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll catch it next year. And in the meantime, uh, sign up to our Cannabis Vice letter and learn about what's going on if you haven't already in this exciting industry, which, in my opinion, has a long, long way to go. We have a lot to cover on our show today. It's been a really uh, volatile week. We have uh, a bunch of guests, as we always try to do, bring you some informative information. We have Kyle Dennis joining us later in the program from RagingBull.com, Don Villalo from the Canadian Society of Technical Analysts, Henry Weingarten will be joining us later. Later in the program, along with uh, Sinclair No, but first we have a very special guest, our regular guest, Harry Boxer, who's patiently waiting to uh, go on the air. And uh, Harry is the founder of the uh, TechTrader.com, which, uh, if you recall from our previous broadcast, is a live trading room featuring his trading alerts and technical market analysis. He's about a, oh, only about a 50-year veteran of doing this and just stock picker, and he's author of that very interesting book, Profitable Day in Swing Trading, which was named by Stock Traders Almanac, the 2015 Best Investment Book of the Year. Harry, thank you, and uh, welcome to the show. My pleasure, always, and uh, it's been an, indeed an interesting volatile market. Um, we've had some amazing surges, both up and down, and down. Uh, a little bit surprised with yesterday's pop. That was, uh, we were, uh, it looked like we were headed for a much deeper retrace, but they just turned it around and squeezed the shorts. And boy, that was some move up yesterday. But today, uh, obviously they're taking some profits. Continuing what started late yesterday. Um, I don't think it's going to be too deep a retrace. As a matter of fact, we're right back to the initial pullback area I was looking for. So this would be the ideal place for the market to, uh, Resurrect the trend and extend it. And now we have a double top of the NASDAQ 100 up there, 63, 53, 4 range. And we uh, get through that, that would be big. If we don't, obviously, double top show is dangerous. The S&P 5, and the reason why it's dangerous is because the S&P 500, although it did rally, did not get uh, within five or seven points of the high. So that was kind of a little bit of a negative divergence, but we'll see if that's meaningful or whether it, it, just, it just needs time to catch up and confirm the NDX at some point. Yeah, just to remind our listeners, we are taping this uh, interview uh, on a Friday, so uh, we're talking about the market during trading on Friday when the Dow's down about 100 points, uh, and transport's down about 100, so reversing the Thursday pattern. So uh, what are the, some of the hot stocks that uh, you've been looking at the last few well, days? Before I get into that, I just want to say that despite the fact that the Dow's down 87 now, advanced decline, 3 to 2 positive, and up down volume 3 to 1 positive. You're getting positive intra- internal divergences of a positive nature on a day where the market is down, it's always a good sign that the, uh, we're not done yet. Anyway, um, we, you know, we, we, we have a lot of stocks that are doing very well, extremely well. Just a few of them that, that made new highs that we're running today 
the tannics of the stock I've had, I gave my people around a 2021 20, level. It's almost 30 today, and that's been, it's been moving nicely. When a bay goes, another one I gave out in the 33 range. It's 50 and running. Collegium Pharmaceuticals, just a week and a half ago, as a, day, as a trade around 10 and a half, it reached 1740 today. So we're, we're doing very well with our spend trade. Day trade, today was a tough day for day trade. Yesterday was a much better day, but with the market down, obviously today, lots of stocks are not following through. They're not trending. And what's really extraordinary is how well the retailers did today. Just a couple of good earnings reports and the whole group exploded. Pretty interesting. A lot of them are very heavily shorted. And I think that could be why. Henry, Harry, I'm sorry. I said Henry, Harry, I'm at the uh, Vegas Marijuana Show. Can we look at a couple of the uh, marijuana stocks like Canopy and GW, some of the big names for our listeners? No, no question. TWMJF, uh, which is the U.S. version for Canopy Growth. Um, and it's kind of interesting that initially they dipped it down there at 13. And then they ripped it to 14.65. It's trading at 14.50, up 99 cents today on a million one. So that's doing, doing very well. And the overall chart data, not only is extremely bullish, but it also did a retrace recently from almost 17 back to 13. Remember, Mark and I, we were talking a couple of days ago. I said, look for a retrace in the 13, 13 and a quarter. You were right. Well, today, yeah, the low is 13.05. And today, back to 14 and a half. But, so it retraced right to support and bounced. We'll see if it's meaningful, whether there's an upside follow through or not. Well, for those who are unfamiliar with Canopy Growth, that's the leading name in Canada in the uh, cannabis space, just for those of you who aren't familiar with the company. And what I like about GWPH, it's obviously one of the leading companies in the pharmaceutical cannabis pharmaceutical field, and it's formed a big base. The resistance at about 122.23, if we get up to that, it can go. It's trading in there 117 today, but that looks like it, the targets would have to be 135 and then 150 going forward if it does get the breakout. I also like, as you know, the Israeli pharmaceutical stock, Therapix, which bounced three just the last couple of days uh, off the post IPO lows in that four and a quarter range. Uh, I think that future is pretty good for that one. Harry, really thank you for t- joining us. Uh, ran out of time. Harry Boxer from thetechtrader.com. If you want more information, go to thetechtrader.com. You still offering that two week free trial, Harry? Two week free trial, no credit card necessary. Come in and join us and check us out. Thanks, Harry. Talk to you next week, and thank you for helping us with the marijuana stocks here at the Cannabis Show. Take care. My pleasure. Bye-bye. We have uh, Don Violo on the phone, and uh, Don is a good friend. He's a past president of the Canadian Society of Technical Analysts, and he produces two exciting blogs, TimingTheMarket.ca and EquityClock.com. EquityClock.com. Don, welcome to the show. Yes, thanks for having me back, Mark. Okay, a uh, lot going on in uh, Canada this week, last week. Uh, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's your pleasure? We have, uh, we, have a, we have a couple stories you wanted to cover this morning. Yes, uh, it's time to, to, to take some seasonal profits in Canada's bank stocks and their related ETFs. Uh, Sector has gained 12%, a huge gain during the, its current period of seasonal strength from early September to the end of November. But recently, the sector started to underperform the S&P 500 and TSX composite and fiscal fourth quarter reports to be released at the end of November at the end of its period of seasonal strength will include news of accounting changes that are expected to increase volatility in earnings. So nice gain and good time to take some profits. Also, there's some uh, danger in the fertilizer stocks I read and metal stocks. I'm surprised. They had a big run already, huh? Yeah, I would have caution on both of those sectors. They are flashing classic uh, technical warning signs. Last week, they completed a double top and head and shoulders patterns. It's time to take some nice profits in those sectors as well. Also got an interesting comment for you on platinum. Mm-hmm. Um, nice breakout in platinum on Friday above the uh, 90 dollars and 31 cent level that's for the platinum etn symbol for that is pplt you know it's completed a nice double bottom pattern i know we've had a nice run in the palladium this year it's really been the star performer so maybe platinum is catching up but that is, that's not a catalytic converter or a component as palladium is is it i'm not sure uh, actually platinum and palladium are both used uh, for catalytic converters and uh, as long as there's demand for cars you're going to get demand for platinum and palladium down below thank you for joining us we'll be back uh, after the break uh, here on wall street raw you're listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back.
a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original and most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Warning, if you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back, because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-959-5759. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now. 1-800-959-5759. That's 1-800-959-5759. 1-800-959-5759. This just in. Before your doctor gives you another antibiotic prescription that you don't want, get this free report, The Miracle of Garlic, Your First Home Medicine. This free report is filled with easy kitchen remedies for common colds, flus, sore throats, ear infections, and more. Plus, learn to boost your immunity before you get sick. Go now to GCNWellness.com. Just like it sounds, GCNWellness.com to get your free report, The Miracle of Garlic. Click GCNWellness.com. A commemorative President Trump dollar for only $5? Yes, the historic Trump dollar starts at only $5 at trumpdollar.us. Choose from our unique three-coin collection in gold, silver, and copper. The Vote Trump dollar, inaugural Trump dollar, and Make America Great Again Trump dollar. Available only at trumpdollar.us. Minted in the USA, our Trump dollars commemorate President Trump's patriotic stand. Order your Trump dollar collection today in time for Christmas delivery at trumpdollar.us. That's trumpdollar.us. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to NutraMedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla-activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovich, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Now, here's the elf himself, Mark Leibovich. Welcome 
Welcome back to Wall Street Raw. I'm your host, Mark Leibovitt, and uh, we're broadcasting from the uh, Cannabis uh, Vice Show in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, as you know, I do produce that Cannabis Vice letter, and uh, a lot of action here, having a ball here. Only about 15,000 people have shown up, and uh, so much action in the individual stocks. We just talked about a couple of them with uh, Harry Boxer, but you know, one of dozens and dozens that you should take a look at in this growth industry, particularly the names in Canada, because the federal law is uh, positive up there. So, uh, quote unquote, a little bit safer than the U.S., but that's all going to turn around. And the big story there, of course, was the uh, uh, buyout, uh, not buyout, the investment on the part of Constellation Brands, STZ, into Canopy Growth in uh, Canada this past couple of weeks, which is a huge signal to what uh, U.S. companies may be continuing to do going forward. Well, we have our good friend uh, Kyle uh, Dennis on the phone. Kyle's uh, uh, patiently uh, waiting for us. He's the uh, chief biotech strategist at RagingBull.com. And um, he's an independent analyst, and he uh, looks for catalytic events as well as technical signals to uh, trigger entry into his trading positions. Uh, hi, Kyle. Thank you for joining us. Hey, it's always a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, Mark. I hate to give you a, you know, a little bit of a signal, a signal here in a direction you may not want to go, but since I'm at this cannabis uh, convention here in uh, Vegas, uh, you know, how, how do you view the uh, pharmaceutical connection with the cannabis industry? What are you seeing, if anything? You know, I actually I do like a couple of the names in that sector. My two favorites um, are this company called GW Pharma. Uh, the symbol there is GWPH. And it's actually really interesting. I think that uh, cannabinoids and can- cannabis has a place in the biotech industry, and uh, that particular one's my favorite company. And they actually have some important data coming up uh, next year, so a little bit further out for the time frame I'm looking at. But it's a multi-billion dollar company. They've seen a lot of success. So there's definitely a place for uh, cannabis in the biotech sector, and, and some companies have shown some pretty promising results. Any acquisition uh, possibilities out there, in your opinion? Uh, I think so. I think it would be that one. That one, uh, GW Pharma, is the one furthest along in development. There's a couple other ones. Uh, Zynerba, the ticker there is B-Y-N-E. And there's another one, uh, Cara Therapeutics, symbol C-A-R-A, uh, all of which use um, cannabis in different trials. Uh, I would think that the GW Pharma would have the best uh, opportunity for a takeout because they just have a more diverse pipeline and have shown some real good results so far. So that's one that I'm actually pretty high on. It's just speculating, of course. What, what Can you name a couple companies that you think would even be interested in the GW? Any uh, ideas there? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure on that, to be honest with you. I haven't delved into the possibilities there yet on uh, on GW. Okay, just uh, wondering, you know, the um, the move on the part of Constellation Brands up there last week, you know, t- took everybody by surprise. So maybe it'll be a surprise here too. So we have about a minute uh, left. Uh, what's uh, on your radar? Uh, I'm actually taking a look at this one company called uh, Synergy Pharmaceuticals, ticker is uh, SGYT. Um, they have a drug that's going to come up for approval in um, early in the uh, middle of January. It's a uh, it's an IV. SC drug, which is a constipation drug, and in the past it just have had some really nice catalyst runs, so that's one that I'm looking at right under two. They just completed an offering there, priced really nicely right above two. It's sitting right below there now, and I think given a month out, we have an excellent opportunity for a strong run-up into the upper twos or possibly three. Great, Kyle. Thank you again for joining us. Kyle Dennis from RagingBull.com. And if you want more information, go to RagingBull.com and uh, sign up. Have a great uh, weekend, Kyle. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate the input. You too. Thank you. Well, we have our good friend Henry Weingarten patiently on the phone. Uh, and, uh, Henry, uh, it's been an exciting week here in the markets. A little bit of a down uh, trend starting. Uh, how do you read it? Well, down and up. I mean, it's a question whether we'll break 23,000 or 23. 23- 1,500 on the Dow. I mean, uh, I don't know if, you know, we're acting as if this is already uh, the end of December, since we already have a maximum cash allocation. We still don't really care what happens too much in the market outside of some specific stocks. Um, the two interesting things for us is we had said the oil would get to 57 plus, and we just locked it in, even though we think it's going higher next year, and even people are saying, well, if there's a war between Iran and um, Saudi, you know, that gold, you know, jumps well above $100, but I'm not really concerned about that. But we do think it will be 65 next year, but at this point, 
outside of stocks, which we like, the oil physical, I think, has had most of its run up. Gold is finally seems to be going to get above 1280, and as soon as 1280 becomes the floor, we're well above 1300 where it belongs. So that part we're happy with. As for the market, uh, the main things to think about is rotation, because the things that are going to be the winners next year are not going to be the same as winners now. And when are people going to take profits, whether they will take profits at the end of December, whether they'll take it at the beginning of January, or whether they'll wait till May. And we don't really have a take on that. We're just starting to do our work to uh, get that. Okay, great. So uh, oil is uh, still uh, higher, uh, gold, uh, as long as uh, it stays uh, around this 1300 or lower level, it's still an attractive buy. You're still targeting it to uh, back to the yeah, highs? 1380, yeah, it's still 13. Yeah, we're certainly going to get, yeah, we still think we'll get to see the highs. And certainly next year or the year after, we'll certainly be 1400. Now, that's not wildly bullish, but it's better. Same thing with copper. Copper will be, you know, 350 plus. So that that's uh, going to do nicely. I was just at the Silver Institute uh-huh. talk. And they, they're a little more bearish in the sense that they just see silver going over, uh, averaging around 17 next year. So I think they're a little uh, uh, under what silver will do. But we're not wildly bullish on it, though. Okay. We had a little bit of breakout this past week in um, platinum. Uh, we were just talking to Don Violo a few minutes ago on the air. And, of course, we know palladium has been really strong, both ingredients mm-hmm. and the uh, catalytic converters. Uh, any insights on those two metals, which really been no standouts? No insights. No, because it, it depends on things we don't cover, and still deals a lot with Russia and um, South Africa, and we don't cover that as much as we need to, to really know what's going on there. I think the interesting thing is, of course, lithium that stocks will stay up quite a bit, although looking to 2025, it's going to be more solar hydrogen and other technologies. But on the shorter term, the lithium cycle, the cobalt, those guys will do uh, be sort of overly bullish, overly, uh, uh, there'll be a little too much Bitcoin for me. Any names in the lithium space that you that you uh, like? Well, uh, well um, in space. Well, we've always liked the Moscow lithium, which has come forward there. Um, and there's a new one we're actually presenting, which is a Piedmont lithium, because I didn't realize uh, which is um, which is another nice one. Piedmont lithium. Okay, is that the, yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's a new emerging U.S. one based on where they originally did all this stuff. Um, it, it's one we'll be talking about in a little while. It's still coming up. It's a very early startup, but it's very, very promising. So you have a uh, conference coming up, too, shortly. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have a, we're on the 29th and then in February again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Henry. Have a great day. Henry Weingarten from the Astrologer Show. And if you have more information, go to afund.com. Speak to you after the break. Go to wallstreetrawradio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Have you ever lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, pay close attention because huge discounts are now available in solar generators. Perfect for backup power outages and emergencies. Portable solar generators provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. And... 
Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no dangerous fumes, and produces an endless supply of electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running secretly in your own home. Right now, get a $5,000 solar generator for just $995 while supplies last. Go to MySolarBackup.com to learn more. That's MySolarBackup.com. GCN listeners use coupon code GCN at checkout for this special offer. MySolarBackup.com. Use coupon code GCN. EMP protection available at an additional charge. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-774-3149 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-774-3149. Again, that's 800-774-3149. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of MyPillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip-flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap even though I slept eight hours. When I invented MyPillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. MyPillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed. It's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovitz VR newsletters, go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on the Saturday morning, broadcasting uh, from Las Vegas at the exciting uh, marijuana cannabis uh, show. Um, it's at the uh, convention center. Actually, the biggest uh, up to this uh, point last few years was at the Rio Hotel. And as I mentioned previously during the broadcast, you may be familiar with my Cannabis Vice newsletter. And um, a lot of excitement here, about 15,000 people, some action in the stocks. Uh, Harry uh, talked about a couple names along with Kyle a few minutes ago. Ago, namely the big names like GW Pharmaceutical and Canopy Growth, which have been outstanding performers for our clients and uh, newsletter writers, uh, readers over the years. So uh, these have been big, big names and continue to be so. Meanwhile, we have our good friend Sinclair No. Uh, patiently waiting to join us uh, and uh, we are broadcasting again here from Vegas live. Thank you, uh, Sinclair, our good friend from KFNN 1510 Phoenix and author of the blog EatTheBankers.com. Hi. How you doing? Good. That's the correct response when you're at the marijuana convention, right? <laughs> I know, but High Times is not running the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're having fun. I, I have to tell you, it is it is a blast. 
it is a blast. So, so many interesting people. You know, if you're if you're a Wall Street person or you're interested in stocks, you got you just got to be here. You, t- you know, the merger and acquisition rumors, the, uh, the the companies all looking to raise capital. Just uh, you know, it's just a wild event. It's 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 really you know one of the places. It's, you know, cryptocurrency is hot, obviously, but this is still one of the very hot areas for investment opportunity. A lot of emerging companies, and particularly the ones. Um, you're familiar with two as well, Sinclair. One's in Canada because we have different mm-hmm. security law issues up there. So let's uh, so let's jump to uh, what's cooking at uh, Eat the Bankers this week. Uh, Federal Reserve had some uh, interesting comments this week too. Uh, the Federal Reserve has been talking. Um, the tax bill has been working its way through Congress. There is just a, a whole bunch of stuff going on right now in the markets, and, and I almost feel as if we're at a uh, – I almost feel as if we're at an inflection point. I don't know that we're there yet, but it, I keep getting this feeling that perhaps we, we're getting closer and closer to it. Are, are you feeling that as well? Well, you know, I have this model that I put together. You know, it sort of said watch out for, you know, November, December, maybe even into early part of the year that, you know, we might have seen most of the move short term, though I, I don't want to say I'm a bear. I'm a, I'm a bit nervous, and this was published months and months ago, as you probably know. Of course, not every cycle point works on this darn thing, but it did call an August low, and it said look for a top in early November and so forth. That's been the case. I had no way of knowing, of course, that the tax bill was going to be an issue. So let's talk about that a little bit. It's really let's wild what's going on there. That's let me touch on something yeah. that is yeah, overlooked, sure. which you brought up. I didn't mean to, to sidestep. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the Federal Reserve, we heard a little bit from a few of the Federal Reserve policymakers this week. I think one of the more interesting commentaries came from San Francisco Fed President John Williams. And John Williams is known for his research into business cycles. That's an area of his academic expertise. And he was talking uh, specifically to global bankers, saying that in this moment of relative economic calm, this is a good time to rethink the approach to monetary policy. Uh, How are we going to fight the next recession? Because there will be another recession at some point. Um, In the past, what we've done is we've seen the central banks cut interest rates. But right now, they're not in a very good position to do that. And with many major economies facing slower growth and possibly lower interest rates, even when unemployment is low, central banks are going to have to find some different ways to stimulate their economies that work even when many other countries are also trying to boost their economies. So what what he's really talking about is how do we coordinate central banks into a global effort where nobody really messes up the economy of the other. And he's saying it's not just as simple as cutting interest rates. It's not just as simple as quantitative easing because there's always going to be somebody else who's doing quantitative tightening at the same time and vice versa. So how does it all work out? He suggested that we start considering price-level targeting and nominal income targeting. In other words, uh, what I think maybe he's talking about there, and I'm not quite certain, but seems to a certain extent like price control and um, some sort of guaranteed income. It's it's an interesting approach. Um, he also talked about setting a higher inflation target, which would tell me that he's a bit on the dovish side, but I still think the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates in December. That That's pretty much the consensus. And at, at that point, we will have seen three this year, plus last December, December before, we're starting to see interest rates move higher and higher, and I have never seen a period of time where the Fed raised interest rates where it did not slow down the economy. And this doesn't seem like a time when we really want to slow down the economy, but I think it's going to come with a bit of a lag time behind it. So something that I think the market tends to forget and hasn't really priced in thoroughly. 
Well, maybe part of the decline we're seeing is related to that, but we're not talking about it. We're talking about the tax bill. Meanwhile, Federal Reserve Governor Lael Brenner had some interesting uh, comments this week about the banks uh, really needing to protect uh, vendors and third-party service providers that consumers need to be protected. And and demand that these online financial companies, uh, and, and really there are a lot of them, Quite frankly, when you consider how many online companies are doing financial transactions and really not protecting their their customers' privacy and not protecting their their interests, um, the, the the security on online is really not as good as it should be. And she says it's up to the banks. The banks have a stake in ensuring that their vendors, that the that their third party service providers, act appropriately and protect consumers and treat them fairly, which is something that the banks have not done. Banks have right. not been looking out for consumers. <laughs> no, no kidding. <laughs> and, I mean, we see that with Equifax. We see that um, with basically every transaction. If the banks demanded that that, that we have tighter uh, security online, well, that would happen because otherwise, you know, how are these online vendors going to sell their products and conduct their transactions? They're not. So it's a little bit of uh, the Fed, which is the regulator of banks, saying that the banks need to do a better job of policing online, which they have not been doing. Yeah, I guess we have that fear that one day you go to your checking account online and the money's not there, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And how do, so, we, how do we protect ourselves? Uh-huh, exactly. And and I, I tell you what, do you do any kind of uh, transactions, any kind of business online, um, you're probably right to be scared. <laughs> Sinclair, we have to take a break, and uh, we'll be back with you after the break if you have an extra minute or so for us. I appreciate that. Sure. Talking to Sinclair No from KFN and 15th and Phoenix, and author of the great blog, eatthebankers.com. we got a lot to cover, particularly with what happened this week in General Electric and the tax bill. Don't touch your dial. are listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovich. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw Report and Gold News Raw Report at WallStreetRaw.com. Don't become dependent on the medical system. Get and stay healthy naturally with Extendivite. Metals in the liver cause peroxides to get dumped into the bloodstream. Peroxides do more damage than free radicals to the arteries, and the LDL has no protection from peroxides, causing the LDL to get stuck in the arteries, creating a potential blockage. Extendivite slowly chelates the metals away from the liver so it can dispose of what was meant to be a harmless process, peroxide. Extendivite's seven herbs has a job to strengthen the organs and circulatory highway. Can you afford a heart attack? Extendivite is available in capsule or liquid form for just $69.95 for a two-month supply. To get started, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendo Vice. 
Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford. Revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting, providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com, virtual care anywhere. It's been said, any society is only three missed meals away from chaos. Those times may be near. Think about it. Our country faces multiple terrorist threats and aggressions from Russia and North Korea. Social unrest and violent marches yet again may lead to looting of stores and city shutdowns. And our crumbling infrastructure leaves our power grid vulnerable to long-term outages from a single cyber attack. When the chaos from any one of these threats arises, the government knows it can't provide during a widespread national emergency. That's why you need your own plan for self-reliance. That's where My Patriot Supply comes in. Get a four-week survival food supply for only $99. That includes breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Order online at preparewithgcn.com. 99 bucks for four weeks of survival food that tastes like homemade cooking and lasts up to 25 years from My Patriot Supply. Get your kits today at preparewithgcn.com. Free shipping is included. Preparewithgcn.com. If you suck in me, we'll hear you. Oh, no. Why are we getting killed like this? Kyle's not here. Got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Harsh. Hey, he knew not to drink. We've made that clear to all of our kids, right? Uh, no, not really. Bill, if we don't tell them what we expect and why they shouldn't drink, how are they going to know? Talk. They hear you. You can do it if you try. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovic. Now, here's the elf himself. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw, broadcasting live from uh, Las Vegas at the Marijuana Cannabis Show, mgbizcon.com, if you want to look up some more information on it and the interesting activities here. And we're um, rejoining our good friend Sinclair No from KFN and 1510 Phoenix, an author of the blog, eatthebankers.com, for our last segment. Thank you for taking uh, time with us on the Saturday morning, Sinclair. Oh, sure. This is a place to be on a Saturday morning. Thank you very much. Well, you know, there was uh, really the big story with um, General Electric uh, this past week. It was really a train wreck. And uh, can let's talk a little bit about what's going on there. This is probably one of the most widely held stocks. And the, I don't know what the dividend is now with the stock down. It's probably, what, 10%, 12%, but there's some question that dividend could be in jeopardy. No, the dividend isn't up to 12%, but they did cut their dividend payments in half. From uh, 96 cents per share to 48 cents, which implies a dividend yield of 2.55 percent at, at uh, roughly around current share prices. Although the share prices have been declining quite a bit over this past week, uh, they suffered one of their worst sessions in uh, eight and a half years. Uh, I guess it was Tuesday, and they had a couple days back to back that were just horrendous, uh, literally wiping out billions of dollars in in market capitalization. And, and there's talk now, they, they also saw some credit downgrades and, and credit watches placed on the firm. There's, t- there's some talk now that GE may actually be removed from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And that company has been on the Dow Industrial Average longer than any other company. Uh, they're talking about divesting uh, certain units to, to come up with a smaller, simpler, more streamlined uh, General Electric. Um, they, they still want to focus on energy, powering the world, as they say it, transporting people. Of course, they're big in jet engines and trains, and uh, they want to focus on uh, health care as well. But uh, exactly what they're going to sell off 
and probably in piecemeal divestitures, I, I'm not sure that that's going to be enough for them. What about the toasters and microwave ovens? What's going to happen to all those great products? We shall see. Uh, they've already started to divest a fair amount of their, their appliances, which is a shame. They, they made good appliances, I thought. They were the leaders, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, they're even talking about getting out of the light bulb business. I mean, that, that was how the company started. Thomas Edison started this company with the light bulb. Um, I don't know what they're going to do, but it's going to be vastly different. And this is an example of just um, horrific management. That's one of the big problems that hit them. They, they, uh, they had a mature company. They had a chance to make a lot of money. They started thinking that they would take, uh, you know, private jet rides all over the place and not just one jet, but two, a backup in case one of the GE engines on the first jet failed, I suppose. Oh, no. Uh, and they just started wasting money. They start, they started to forget the reason why they were in business. They stopped innovating. Um, this is an example of what happens when you stop innovating, when you have uh, greedy management. And I think that's a kind word for how they've been running the company for, for quite some time now. And now they've got this. John Flannery and their new CEO, he's he's got a he's got a task ahead of him, and I'm not sure he'll he'll do it. Look, they got a little cocky, huh? <laughs> uh, more than a little. <laughs> Very interesting story this past week, uh, Sinclair. You posted on your blog. Um, the uh, Bank of England had posted a research from a Harvard professor looked at interest rates and inflation over a 700 year period. I love this kind of stuff. So let's talk a little bit about that. This is the second longest period of depressed interest rates and how it ties in with the economy. Not necessarily the lowest interest rates we've ever seen, but the longest period. So you go back to essentially 1980, and that's that's what they concluded was the beginning of the low interest rate environment. The only other period over 700 years that lasted longer was from the roughly 1880s and 1890s which was known as the Long Depression. But one of the things that they found in this uh, research report was that when we do come out of long periods of low interest rate environments, we tend to come out with a, a bit of a pop, and interest rates rise fairly quickly and quite, uh, quite substantially. In bond market, fairly quickly means roughly 24 months or so. <laughs> which may not seem so quick, but it, right. it goes by fast. For, for the interest rate environment, that's fast. Hey, at some point, we're going to come out of this low interest rate environment. That goes to what we were talking about with the Federal Reserve. Um, the Federal Reserve is trying to push interest rates higher. If we actually start to see it, if, they, if we actually start to see inflation come back in and interest rates moving higher, that could happen relatively fast, a 24-month period, pretty fast. That could change the whole complexion of the marketplace about as much as anything else that's out there right now. Yeah, in your blog you said the takeaway from the study was that when interest rates rise from the press period, the turnaround could be sudden. Yeah, that, yeah. And, and how, will, and how will the markets handle that? That's. I question. don't think they'd handle it very well, quite frankly. Uh, they haven't in the past. I mean, that's what I was saying before. When when the Fed raises interest rates, it tends to slow the economy. It tends to impact the markets. And I think that if we see that with inf with an increase in inflation, with rising interest rates, and we actually move out of this long term low interest rate environment that we've been in, um, it, it'll surprise a lot of people. I don't think it's priced into the market, but it's bound to happen eventually. That's just business cycle. Right. So let's uh, jump over to the tax bill. This is this we can spend a lot of time on this one. The, the big disappointment there was the fact that the um, the idea of making individual taxpayers cuts temporary, I, I thought was shocking. What's the point of doing it if it's going to revert back, right? Well, that goes to the Byrd Amendment, uh, which requires that if it adds to the deficit, it has to be temporary. So they decided to make individual tax cuts temporary, expiring within 10 years, but keep the corporate tax cuts permanent. Um, now, that, come on, you, you want to sell that to the broader public? Good luck with that one. Right. You know, maybe they can get away with it. I don't know. But the simple, the simple idea behind this 
is that the math still does not add up, uh, not for them to be able to do uh, a tax uh, bill through the Senate with budget reconciliation, which means that they're able to pass it with 51 votes instead of 60. They can't get 60. They're not going to do it. So to get it with 51, they've got to restrict how much debt they can pump into the economy and into the government. And so they're trying to come up with all kinds of ways, little gimmicks, uh, this one will expire at a certain point. They're, they're talking about cutting Medicare by $25 billion. They, 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 they threw in at the last moment, um, a repeal of the individual mandate on Obamacare, saying that that would save $338 billion over 10 years. But it would also, the flip side that they didn't talk about too much was that it would also raise everybody else's premiums insurance premiums by about 10% or more. So if you were looking for a tax cut and you still want to have health insurance, which most people need and, and, and carry whether it's mandated or not, um, you're probably going to be paying a couple thousand dollars more. You're, you're looking at a net loss for most individuals, unless you're, you know, in the upper 1%. It's becoming very income. clear. These guys don't know what they're doing, Sinclair. They're struggling. Right. Some of the things that they have included in this are just downright stupid, as if they haven't given it one ounce of thought. And I'll give you one quick example. There has been a deduction for adoptions. Uh, You can deduct the expense of an adoption. I think that's a great thing. I think most people would agree. And the pro-family, pro-life GOP decided to wipe that one out. Sinclair ran out of time. Good friend Sinclair No from KFN and 15 to then Phoenix. And we'll be back with you next week. And as we do, or we do, we close our show as we always say, we will know in the fullness of time. Thank you for joining us. nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week out, Mark Leibovich. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to Wall Street. StreetRawRadio.com. Any stocks or investment discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body Brain and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNTeam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. 